Then he Yeah. 
So something just wasn't right. Like I said, with the misspelled words and being there early, I'm like, yeah, I'm not really feeling this. But I sent a message to my sister saying our flight is delayed, we're leaving later that night. And so we don't want to be at the airport so long, so we decided to get there later. Right, right. So the flight was initially supposed to leave at what time? Like 12.20. Okay. Like, yeah. And they said it was pushed back to two something. Yeah, right? so like two forty five. All right. So we were already up. Danny was on her way to the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. So we ended up getting like some Chick Fil A or something. Yeah. Just kind of like chill. Yeah. Right? yeah. The whole time though, we was <laughs> on the phone with customer service. Purple, you know, someone from Frontier. They seem confused. Yeah, because I didn't trust them. Right. They they seem confused. They're so like, oh, it's showing on time. And then, oh wait, we did see. Oh wait, so it was it was messy in the beginning, right? Yeah. So we we decide, okay, let's go to the airport. But we left at like eleven something. Mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So we on our way to the airport. It's close to twelve, and we get another message. message. Another update message saying your flight is on time. Okay. And put it back to the original. Just get time. Okay. So Man. we knew we were not going to. We were literally like we knew. We, knew. we listen. We knew. But listen. Car seat getting yanked back and forth. Mother was gonna get us there. Whether we got that one piece or not, she was gonna get us there. Right. So we get there. Danielle and Victoria had to check bags. Yeah. I don't remember checking my bag. It's not on the government. I'm sorry. I will edit that part out. I'm sorry. So we get to the airport. <laughs> v and Danny had to check bags. Okay. <laughs> Me and Quita. We, you know, just kind of like it's gonna go through. <laughs> so we get up to the to the desk and we're like, oh, we're gonna make the flight. They're like, just go, just go. So we're like, yeah. wait a minute. What about these bags that we need? My, now, I'm thinking with my TSA pre-check, I can get to the gate and right. put in the door like you ain't leaving my sister. <laughs> so we and she tried though. She did. She she. Well, actually, no, she made it there. Well, so here's the deal. There was no TSA yeah. pre-check line, so I had to get through the regular line. Right. But I made so by the time we got there, right. yeah, she made it too. We got, we got, she had bread. So we were talking to the lady trying to get the bag checked. Yes, we was already gone. Yeah, she was. So we, she just lady was like, just go through, just go through. Send so, and I stopped for a second, but then I'm just like, let's go. Because I don't like the rush. When you in the rush, you forget about All things. Anxiety, I wasn't anxiety. thinking. So we got to the line, and we was in the line. And we, we <laughs> were just laughing because she was so like TSA, TSA. Yeah. And they ain't even happy. <laughs> Checked and you to my no go go. But the kicker is this. 
when we when we called her out on it, yeah. she's gonna say, "Oh, well, the other girl was uh, running." You know, exactly. Leaving. What did that have to do with these nothing. two bags? Nothing. Nothing at all. No, no. Like you were supposed to check the bag. No, no. You knew we weren't gonna make it. Mm -hmm. So we get oh, back. Yeah, you. you. That's what she was like. The other she girl. Said, right. Right. Face. And then too, we asked her, we said, hey, we don't know if we're gonna make it. Can you put us on a later flight? But then again, she said, oh, well, the other girl didn't want that. She was so in a rush. So that's why I didn't look up another flight to put y'all on. And I'm like, you have two different things. Like, like then again, I'm, I'm like, yeah, she was rushing to get to the gate, but we were standing here asking you, could you put us on another flight? So again, she trying to avoid all accountability by saying, oh, okay. the other girl, and we like, hey, get back she on the knew, She knew from the get that that was the last flight going to Atlanta. Right. right. She knew that when we asked. Exactly. Because we asked and exactly. went up there, and we was like, you know what? We yeah. don't think we're going to make right. this flight. What's the next flight? On the next exactly. Flight? I've missed flights before, and I've just been <clears> put on the next one. Right. I mean, in a real right. airline, because right. Frontier is girl. clean. They clean when people want it. Trash. So, um, so we get, you know, like I said, we get back with the guy and he's trying to, he's talking to them like, man, that's wrong or whatever. You know, real nice. You know, he went back to whatever he was doing. Uh, we're talking to her like, what well, then, what's the next? Um, oh, no, wait. So before that, I asked her. I said, ma'am, you knew that we weren't going to be able to get through with our bags. So why did you send us back there with these bags that we need to be checked? Well, I was trying to, you know, like make the process more seamless so you all can make it. And I said, that's not making it more seamless. You knew that we were not gonna make it through security with these two big bags that we needed to check. Why didn't you allow us to check our bag here? Like we said, we had to get out of the line. Yeah. We were close to going through. We had to get out of the line and walk all the way back. So I'm like, why would you do that? It was more convenient for you, not exactly. Because exactly. you know, if they had to check bags, they're gonna lose some stuff in there. She right. didn't care. That was she didn't care. There. So that was number yeah, one, like, oh, okay, you don't care. So. We're talking and we're like, well, put us on the next flight. You know, we have our sister who went through. We don't even know if she's gonna make the flight. In the midst of us talking, <laughs> we the <laughs> she calls going off. Oh. Oh. She calls how they're talking. How she went off on the man. So go ahead. Tell what we're talking about. Yes, yes. I made it to the gate. They were closing the door. <laughs> She was not like Peter, and like he didn't care. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like Peter. She tell me like Peter. He acted like he didn't care, and I said, "Well, sir, you that all sent out the misinformation." <laughs> and we talked to him. Another lady comes up and was just like, "No, this trifle. Y'all said we were leaving later. Right. You closed so the we, door. Another family that they sent out another, a bogus another, shit. Another, another black family. No, and he had another older lady who was." Sitting there, just mm -hmm. like I don't know what we're gonna do. So there were several people who missed the flight because I, I feel like what it was is like the Hunger Games. Whoever made the flight is going, and yeah. whoever don't, because I don't yeah. know they oversold the flight. Yeah. Yeah. They oversold. Yeah. 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 So That's Peter was so unbothered by the fact that we were not getting on this flight, so I cussed him clean out. <laughs> <laughs> So she on our FaceTime. We 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 me going off while we're trying to ask ask the lady of like, hey, is there another flight? And so she like Franka said, she knew from the beginning that it was another one. Yes. But she was still, you know, trying to act like she was doing some work, but she wasn't. And then finally she's like, well, yeah, we don't have any more options for you on the fly today, but there is an option. Man, she like Friday. Friday. Yeah. Said Friday. Right. If y'all, it, it was Wednesday. It was, to, it was yeah. Wednesday. It was Wednesday. But but we can only leave on Friday if it's like um, no, if, if, if we drove, drove to Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah. So the first, time so so the first time I mean, wait two days and then drive to Wisconsin in order to fly out by Friday. Yeah. Half the trip was would have been over Yes. And that's what what, what I was saying. The Friday flight wasn't even from Chicago. Right. That's where we're from. It wasn't even Chicago. We had to go to St. Louis. No. No. Hotel, um, reservation, car rental, all of that. All of that. We 
Wednesday, you couldn't cancel because you, you're going to be charged fully at this point because it's right. the day of. So we're like, somebody has to rectify this. There's yeah. no way, it, you know, we need to fly out tonight. You have like, you know, I've been in places where um, if someone missed a flight or if it was overbooked, they may contact another airline. They wouldn't want to do And then, you know, they'll put you on that one. I've been through a lot of stuff, right? So I'm like, oh, well, can you guys contact another um, airline and you can get on there tonight? They was like, I made my way, way back over to them. So oh, yeah. Together. Yeah, so, so she was over there at the gate cussing and going off, so she brought that back to where we were. Yes. <laughs> on top of our agitation oh, and frustration. And then. And, 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 and so when, when the manager came out, she was so nonchalant. She was just, yeah. well, well, here's the number to corporate. Like, if you want to tell Great, them, no. Oh, no. A piece of paper that they, oh, my God. Just that cut. she might be a cut and, like, yeah. scribble yeah. on there. It was just so. Get on another flight and, and her response was, was we're low budget. Yeah. Yeah. What did they say? We're low cost. That's that's what her response was. <laughs> and it, it sent me over. Yeah. Tell them your response. She made the comment, well, we're low cost, and I say here, you're low cost. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Tell them, hey, you pulled your mask down. <laughs> this was still it was because like, like a lot of everywhere. Okay, so she yanked her mask down and then tell them what you see. I said, yes, y'all low class. You're low budget, low class. <laughs> Well, whatever I could think of, <laughs> smack in her face. Whatever <laughs> that point, now you insulting our intelligence. Yeah, so, but but to all the disrespectful, me and Danny were talking about how like that statement was very humbling because what she also said was she called us broke. She did. She, she did. did. She, she, did. did. She, did. she did. But then she That's also true. said y'all chose us, and I'm going to say that humbled me because it's like we did. We did. We did. Yeah. And so it's like okay. okay. Frontier and said to myself that I was never gonna fly. I had never had a home. That's what I did. Like I'm usually that person if I said no, like, I also said it. I was not going to do it. But I yeah. changed my mind yeah. well. So yeah, I, I should have right. followed my first <laughs> mind because definitely regret it. Yeah. Way back like when I we went on a cruise for my 35th birthday. We we flew Frontier. Um and something was happening with the flight, like they kept on like pushing it back. So we went trying to be proactive, and this is another this is another trip. Um, and again, we were in Orlando because we ended up um, going on, um, I forgot, Carnival, Carnival Cruise or something. Mm -hmm. They kept pushing the flight back, so we called ourselves being proactive. So we're going to go to the airport and say, just put us on the uh, next flight in the morning. They wouldn't even do that. Like, they were just giving me a hard time. And of course, I went to the car. I'm the big sister, though. I went to the car, baby, and I got hooked because I kept saying, you know, <laughs> Over here. And she broke through and came in. And as we're talking to them, they canceled the flight. I knew they were gonna do it because they're bootleg, they're jack leg anyway. So I fought myself uh for even choosing to fly them yeah. to try to save a couple coins. Yeah. I did as well. Yeah. I, my last flight, my yeah. first and last flight with Frontier was a red eye flight and flavor flames on the flight. <laughs> Because the trip was so last minute, um, I did like kind of looking over flights. I'm like, oh, you know, this seems to be like the most convenient, like the cheapest, to where it's like we can go with the big last minute and not break the bank. So when talking about it, they did mention like, oh, that they had bad experiences. So for me, I was like, oh, I flown with them twice. I think it's okay. And I'm like, y'all, like we legitimately like like we just have to get like it's fine. I brushed past what they said, so I can take kind of it. Now looking back on it. I should have listened. They had more experience with airline that I didn't. So now looking back on it, I have no problem with taking accountability and being like, yeah, you should have listened to what their experiences were and not just been like, 
oh, it like fits the amount of time that you want to spend there beyond graduation. We also want the time to like, you know, go out, like, you know, have fun, stuff like that. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, these other airlines, it was a lot. So I'm like, I didn't, in my mind, I was thinking like, that's a lot to ask, you know, anybody to like drop up front with it, again, it being last minute, because I was going to depend on whether or not I actually wanted to go to the ceremony. Like, friend, had to be like, get your life, you're actually going. So it was like a last minute thing. And I already had a deal for the hotel, so right. it was all Yeah, like, right, so it was just kind of like, okay, we had a deal in the hotel, you know, let's not try to break, break the bank to like catch a flight, you know, let's just kind of keep it simple. Like, let's just, you know, go where the deal is and, you know, get there, get back, go and stuff with it. But hindsight is 20 I should have listened to them um, with them sharing their experiences. I, was on a whole, so I had a whole soul plan experience without the luxury. <laughs> That's what I felt like. The, the <clears throat> attendant got on a loudspeaker. It was like, play your play. You're going to have to take your seat so we can leave. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> you I'm like, that <laughs> and like, She literally got one of the loudspeakers. <laughs> and that's how I knew it was uh, a <laughs> Yeah, listening in and taking heed. Yeah, we learned about this for 